not sure whose twisted idea it was to put hundreds of adolescents in underfunded schools. <laughs> run by people whose dreams were crushed years ago. But I admire the sadism. I want names. I don't know who they were. Honest. It happened so fast. Hugsley, emotion equals weakness. <laughs> Pull yourself together. <laughs> now. <laughs> you okay? I'm not about to confess to my brother that I've recently been plagued by visions. They come on without warning and feel like electroshock therapy but without the satisfying afterburn. Leave this to me. Wednesday? What are you gonna do? What I do best. Yo, Dalton, look! Pixley's sister! Hey, freak. This is a close practice. <laughs> the only person who gets to torture my brother is me. Darling, how long do you intend on giving us a cold shoulder? Lurch, please remind my parents that I'm no longer speaking to them. Hmm. I promise you, my little viper, you will love nevermore. Won't she, Tish? Of course you will. It's the perfect school for her. Why? Because it was the perfect school for you? I have no interest in following in your footsteps. Becoming captain of the fencing team, queen of the dark prom, president of the seance society.
I merely meant that finally you will be among peers who understand you. Maybe you'll even make some friends. Nevermore is like no other boarding school. It's a magical place. It's where my true mother... ...and we fell in love. You guys are making me nauseous. Not in a good way. Darling, we aren't the ones who got you expelled. That boy's family was going to file attempted murder charges. How would that have looked on your record? Terrible. Everyone would know I failed to get the job done. Hmm. Just over here is fine. Thanks. Sure you want to get out here? The trail might look pretty, but it runs right past Nevermore. A school for outcasts? Well, that's a polite way of putting it. I never had a problem with outcasts. My counselor at summer camp was a werewolf. Great guy. Yeah, they're just like you and me. Until they rip your throat out. <laughs> Thanks. Wednesday is certainly a unique name. I'm guessing it was the day of the week you were born. I was born on Friday the 13th. Her name comes from a line from my favorite nursery rhyme. Wednesday's child is full of woe. You always had a unique perspective on the world, Morticia. Hmm. Did your mother tell you we were roommates back in the day? And you graduated with your sanity intact? Impressive. You certainly had a very interesting educational journey. Eight schools in five years. They haven't built one strong enough to hold me. I bet this place won't be any different. I believe what our daughter's trying to say is that she greatly appreciates the opportunity. Nevermore doesn't usually accept students midterm, but given Wednesday's perfect grades and your family's long history with the school, I've spoken with the board and we've made an exception. Larissa, what about Wednesday's, um, therapy sessions? The court ordered them. Hmm. 
The school has a relationship with a therapist in Jericho. She can meet twice a week. Did you hear that, my little storm cloud? You're in excellent hands. We'll see if she survives the first session. I've assigned you to your mother's old dorm, Ophelia Hall. Oh. Refresh my memory. Ophelia is the one who kills herself after being driven mad by her family, correct? Shall we go meet your new roommate? It's so vivid. Howdy, Rumi. Wednesday, this is Enid Sinclair. Are you feeling okay? You look a little pale. Wednesday always looks half dead. Oh. Welcome to Ophelia Hall. Not a hugger. Got it. Please excuse Wednesday. She's allergic to color. Oh, wow. What happens to you? I break out into hives and then the flesh peels off my bones. Luckily, we've special ordered you a uniform. <laughs> Enid, please take Wednesday to the registrar's office to pick it up along with a copy of her schedule and give her a tour along the way. <laughs> <laughs> 